Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, welcome to my new channel. This is a second channel for me. Uh, this one's going to be based on uh, gravesite visits, famous and infamous. Also, we'll be doing stories on code cases and such. But I want to give a shout out to Don, a new subscriber. Welcome. Uh, today, we're going to uh, talk about Kathy Augustine. Uh, Kathy Augustine was the state controller uh, for Nevada. Uh, she was a colorful individual, uh, very ambitious, loved being in politics, and she was aggressive. Uh, she was actually the first female state controller of Nevada. Uh, before she got in trouble in, in 2004, uh, she was under consideration with the Bush administration to become the Secretary of the Treasury. Uh, Bush, Bush 43, so this would be George W. Bush. Uh, what happened was uh, allegedly she was using uh, state equipment and staff to help her with her re-election campaign. Uh, she ended up being censored and fined $15,000, but she was allowed to remain in office. Uh, before she got into politics, right after college, uh, Kathy was a Delta flight attendant. And she ended up marrying uh, Charles Augustine, who was a Delta Airlines pilot, and he was 16 years older than her. It was kind of a rocky marriage. I think there were plans of a divorce, but they were married uh, 17 years. They had two children, one daughter named Dallas who lived in Phoenix, uh, uh, Dallas ended up killing her wife. Yes, her wife, Dallas, uh, was a lesbian. So uh, there was a murder suicide. So she killed her wife and then killed herself. And I think allegedly Dallas was having an affair and it caused uh, problems in that marriage too. So I'll probably do a video about that. Uh, soon. Uh, Charles, uh, he had a stroke. He's in the hospital. And this is where Kathy met Chaz Higgs. Chaz Higgs was a critical care nurse and he took care of Charles. Uh, Kathy and Chaz were seen many times down in the lunchroom and uh, some say they were quite cozy. So while Charles laid upstairs dying of a stroke, um, she's hanging out with uh, Charles's nurse. Well, Charles dies and what's interesting, Kathy marries Chaz just three weeks later. And that marriage was a rough one too. I think they were married three years. Uh, Chaz would make comments to his co-workers that he wished he could get rid, of, get rid of his wife. And then when asked, is there any, well at work when he's really busy, when asked, is there anything we can do to help you? Uh, his automatic comment would be, yeah, get rid of my wife. And then Chaz made a comment to at least one co-worker that if you do want to get rid of somebody, hit them with sex. 
Saxacholine. Now, sax, saxacholine is a drug that is used to uh, paralyze the breathing muscles or relax them. Uh, this is what used. This is what drugs use so they can insert uh, the breathing tube uh, during surgery. He said, if you hit them with the saxacholine. You can't find it within the body because it leaves quickly. You can get by with murder. Here we are now, Kathy Marie Augustine, May the 29th, 1956, July the 11th, 2006. So one morning, uh, Charles wakes up to find his wife she wasn't breathing so Chaz uh, calls 911 and I'll bring in uh, the call now something's wrong with my wife she's not breathing I don't know what happened to her it's not trauma or anything said she's been really stressed yeah. you know over the last six months or so hey I'm gonna do some more CPR okay yeah go right ahead All right. hey I'm gonna go get some pizza it's just strange, uh, just just strange to me listening to that call. Also, the 911 operator testified in court that it was the most calm call he, he had ever gotten. I guess when Chaz went with the paramedics in the ambulance to the hospital, he sat in the ambulance reading a newspaper. Very suspicious, very strange. So what happened is this caused some concern uh, with the nurses at the hospital. And what they did is they froze Kathy's blood and urine. If it wasn't for this, old Chaz would have gotten by with murder. Uh, so after the, well, I guess while they're investigating her death, uh, originally they thought that Kathy had a heart attack uh, she was on life support for three days and in her will in Kathy's will uh, she stated I don't want to be on life support so although difficult to uh, remove life support the family did that according to her brother and it was a little a little more comf comfort in doing that knowing that was her wishes still tough if you can just imagine so later on uh, because of the frozen urine they were able to test it and find sexacholine interesting Chaz ends up getting a life sentence however after 20 years, he's eligible for parole. Right out this direction, uh, she's buried uh, fairly close to Charles, her um, her ex-husband, or or I should say her husband. So let's make our way over and, and visit over there. So I think it's around 2008. I remember that I was coming down Eastern, which is right here. This is this is this is Eastern. We're just south of Las Vegas, and right in this area, I remember seeing uh, many officials. The coroner was here law enforcement and what they were doing they were, ex were exhuming Charles Augustine uh, they were going to test to see if perhaps they can find succicoline in his system because they were very suspicious about his death too So the results 
The re results are that it was inconclusive. And uh, here's Charles Augustine now. Uh, February 8th, 1940, August 19th, uh, 2003. Charles Augustine, United States Air Force, Vietnam veteran.